Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meatsy69, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be playing the T-62A, one of the best Russian medium tanks in the entire game. And in fact, it's the lucky one. I'm going to call it the lucky one. Why is that? Well, firstly, it's because it's lucky. Uh, because it's just got so much love over the years. Like, when I first started playing the game, uh, it was all about the Object 140. Honestly, it was all about this tank. Um, there was a couple of tanks, to be fair. The Object 140, the IS-7. They were the main two tanks um, in Tier 10. Uh, but over time, Wargaming have rebalanced tanks and they rebalanced the T-62, they rebalanced it some more, then they rebalanced it some more, and then, to be fair, they rebalanced it some more. So it's just got so much love over the years, and it's just been made better and better and better and, uh, and better. Back in the day, the only way this tank was good, if you just run it with heat and nothing else. Um, just like the Heat 54, the, uh, the T-54. Because back then, uh, using premium rounds used to do the same amount of damage. So you just run it with heat and, you know, you pen everything. Uh, but yeah, now it's just got so much better. The tank is much better. And honestly, it it comes close to the T, uh, the T-22 medium. Um, but yeah, overall, I think I have more fun in the T-62. Uh, so it's got, uh, it's got a turret. You can actually bounce shots on that turret at 255 millimeters thick. It's got good DPM, 3,216. That is with calibrated shells. So without calibrated shells, you're looking at 3,500. Uh, so yeah, big difference, but I think it needs the penetration to be fair. Uh, reload is six seconds or just over six seconds. Penetration 257 on your AP and 330 on your heat, 55 on your HE. You've got a 330 alpha gun, uh, 2 HE on your heat and 440 on your HE. Aim time is pretty good at 3.1 and the gun dispersion for a Russian tank to 0.293. Very, very good gun dispersion. In fact, I think Wargaming not long nerfed the gun dispersion because, I mean, it was one of the best in the game. Um, yeah, and it's a Russian. The Russian tanks are always known because they're not accurate. However, uh, the T-62 is very, very accurate. It has seven degrees of gun depression as well, um, which has been buffed and buffed. And of course, the speed at 55 kilometers per hour. Now, the T-62 is still, even after all these years, after all these years of it being uh, made like very, very good. I wouldn't say it's overpowered, but I think it's very, very good and still one of the best uh, medium tanks in the game. Uh, that's just my opinion. I don't think it's the strongest. I don't think it's the strongest, but I think it's, it is one of the best. Uh, you do have tanks like the E50M, uh, which is very, very good. Um, and I think it's stronger, but I don't think it's as good. Um, so yeah, it's it's still, after all these years, one of my go-to tanks. If I want to play a medium um, in tier 10, of course, I love the, uh, the Leopard 1. It's still one of my favorite tanks in the game. Um, but... You know, it's it's all about it's all about this. It's all about the T62, in my opinion. And yeah, it is one of my go-to tanks. If I'm playing in uh, ratings, I, I go to the T62. Uh, I just feel in ratings you get better players, and the Leopard One just gets absolutely destroyed uh, if you don't play it correctly um, in ratings. But uh, yeah, it's it's one of my go-to tanks if I'm platooning um, in tier 10 medium. Mediums, yeah, again, um, I do have a couple. Obviously, everyone has a couple of go-to tanks. Uh, but I just feel this can do a lot more than the other mediums. You know, you can get the bounces. It's troll. You've got the speed. You've got the gun depression. You've got the turret. You've got the DPM. It's got everything. It's literally got everything you need uh, in this tank. And any tank that you come up against, depending on sort of... Uh, what equipment, etc., you use if you're going to run it with calibrated shells or if you run it with the rammer. If you run it with the rammer, then yeah, 3,500 DPM. There, there isn't many tanks out there that is going to beat uh, your DPM. So, uh, 
you can pick up the damage very quickly. If, as long as you're in the right sort of uh, positioning, you can pick up damage very, very quickly. So you can see here, I'm, I'm basically a, a one shot and I've only bounced one shot so far. So of course I have to start playing it uh, a little bit a uh, little bit better if I'm going to want to do more damage. Because at the minute I've only done 1900 damage. So I've done uh, pretty much no, no damage at all. Um, but we are going to get a shot into the K91. We are playing it a little bit more safer here. We're sort of not rushing in too quick. Uh, but there's still damage to do. You can see the E5 here, almost full hit points. You've got the WZ over there, almost full hit points as well. So there's still uh, a little bit of damage that can be done. Uh, but we are winning on supremacy points. So if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna wanna get the damage out there, I'm gonna have to sort of uh, be a little bit quicker. But that's where the really good DPM falls into place. So as soon as they bounce, of course I bounce him. Uh, sorry, as soon as they miss, I can then just sort of uh, farm my DPM. And even at this point, I don't care if I get a shot, but we do manage to get the bounce. And uh, yeah, with 1,000 supremacy points, unfortunately, uh, we, we don't. We get that last shot in, but that's 1,400 damage. That's 1,400 damage. Not all for me, but, you know, for the team, that is pretty much wasted. But uh, yeah, 3,500 damage, even though I lost uh, a lot of DPM, but... We got that pretty easily, and that is what this tank, again, that's what the tank can do uh, with with how good it is. Now, of course, there are four, uh, pretty much four Russian medium tanks out there. You've got the 907, you've got the 140, and of course, you've got the T-22 medium. Um, all of them are pretty decent, you know. Um, uh, the 140, I don't think, is as good um, as I'd hope, but there are still a lot of people out there that do prefer the Object 140 because it's more sort of, uh, doesn't have the turret, but it's more of a brawling medium tank. It's got a troll sort of upper plate, uh, and you can actually get some bounces uh, using the Object 140. But me personally, I prefer uh, the T62 out of all of them, even the T22. Like, and that's saying something because the T22, I think, is more op uh, overpowered because of the troll armor. Uh, but I prefer playing the T62 over the T22. But again, that's just my opinion. Uh, I'd love to know which one, which one of the Russian medium tanks do you prefer? Which one is your go-to Russian medium? Because this is uh, this is my one. Again, get a nice troll bounce there. That was lucky because of our angles. Pretty much like a, an auto bounce. And uh, do we? Are we going to stay alive here? I mean, 95, 55. We get a lucky bounce. We get another lucky bounce. I mean, that we can't be much more luckier. We can't be much more lucky than that. And again, that is what the T-62 is capable of doing. I don't know how we survived. It was a bit of a new play there from the uh, FE. But we survived and uh, we were on 55 HP. Four against four. So I now need to stay alive. I have to stay alive. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty much game over. It's now a three versus four. We're going to get rid of that guy. There are a couple of uh, one-shot tanks. Now, there's three of us. Two of us are one shot, so we do need to play it very, very safe. There goes the T-22, which now just leaves two tanks left alive, and uh, yeah, I'm just, as you can see, just playing it a little bit back, because I, I don't want to die straight away. I want to stay alive for as long as possible. I don't want them to flank my Yeguru, because as soon as one of these mediums flank the Jaegeru, then it's pretty much going to be game over. But with just two tanks left, we are winning on supremacy points. I'm going to go from a different angle to see, um, and look, I mean, his hit points absolutely vanished. So there's the T62. I'm going to get one shot. Am I going to get the shot? Yes, I am. Uh, which pretty much brings him down to a one shot. Can I get any more shots? Yes, I can. Thanks to that DPM. So we didn't do crazy damage, uh, but I wanted to add it because, you know, I thought it was a pretty decent game and how lucky we got with them bounces. And that is what the tank is capable of doing. So let me know which Russian medium tank is your favorite, your go-to tank uh, in the comments below. But for now, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm Meezy69 and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.